What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings Addict, bringing you my top picks for your Monday's main slate. Hope everybody enjoyed their holiday weekend. All right, guys, so let's get back into it, guys. So tomorrow, this is DK's main slate, 7 p.m. All right, nine games on the slate, guys. Woo! Pitching looks a little sketchy, guys, just to be honest and up, up front. But uh, let's talk about this little tool that I got on the screen called Draft Dashboard, guys. All right, this is my, my main resource research tool for the uh, MLB season, guys, all right? Got a lot of data right here on the screen for me. It makes it a little bit easier to break down the uh, the slate. So, all right, guys, this is the position optimizer on the screen, guys. You can go through here and select each position and optimize your uh, picks at each position. So if I go to first base, as you can see right here, got a couple options at the top. Ooh, I like Ryan Zimmerman, for instance, or like Alonzo. For instance, all right, and you just go through here and you watch each player that you like, guys, all right? So after you get all your players like that you like, all right, let's go to third base real quick. All right, Mr. Rendon, there you go. All right, so after you get done liking the players that you like, guys, you go over here and go to the lineup optimizer, and it'll spit out a lineup based off of uh, your picks, all right, guys? If you don't like somebody, you can always upgrade or downgrade that player, give or take, all right? But that's the draft dashboard, guys. Check out the link in the description, guys. You'll get a seven-day trial for one buck if you use my description in the link. Also, if you use my description in the link, you'll get my uh, watch players. All right. If you go into your screen, click on right here to, uh, to watch DK Addict Picks, and my uh, player pool will come up. All right, guys. So let's get into today's uh, top players, guys. All right, pitcher. The safest pitcher that I saw on, on the board, guys, is Charlie Morton, in my opinion, guys. All right. Playing in Houston. Versus Baltimore in a plus matchup. Vegas has Baltimore projected to score three runs, I believe. All right. All right. 3.8 runs. All right, guys. All right. So I like Charlie Morton to get a couple of Ks. Baltimore is a team that strikes out. All right, guys, versus righties. All right, so you can see most of that team is right-handed batters. All righty. So I like... Morton's chances of getting a few Ks in this game, guys, all right? Next up, this guy here is just too damn cheap, guys, all right? Jay Smoke, man, just a smoke. He's been hot lately. He's had a couple of dings, and uh, I want to go ahead and ride the hot, hot bag, guys. And at 3.4K, the guy's just too cheap, man. If he hits another home run day, I don't want to get left out. So I'm playing just a smoke. All right, guys, and so in the best matchup on the board, guys, the Astros have Baltimore. All right, guys, I like Altuve in this spot. If you look at the history versus this team, he has six games played, and he's batting a point four two three average, guys. All right, only struck out three times. Let's, let's talk about that. All right, he's only struck out three times with 26 at-bats, all right? He has three stolen bases. He has a home run and a couple of RBIs, guys. But I like Altuve in this uh, high-scoring matchup, all right, at home. Next up, there you go, Mr. Anthony Rendon. All right, so let's go over here and let's look at uh, who they're facing. All right, they're facing Sean Newcomb, all right, a lefty. And if anybody that plays MLB knows that Rendon is a lefty slayer. All right, so I like him in this position against this particular team in this matchup. All right, guys, in the hitter-friendly part, all right. ATL, all right, it's kind of neutral, 95% right here, all right, but I like Rendon, guys, all right, this is like him in, guy, 4.4K, he loves lefties, all right, next up, Matt Joyce, guys, this guy has a crazy uh, Woba versus the pitcher handedness that he's facing, all right, so I like Matt, Matt Joyce in this, in this matchup, guys, all right, so I believe... They're playing, yep, Bartolo Colon, guys, gas can of the night. All right, let's go ahead and lock in Matt Joyce, guys. So, all right, that's my top plays for today, guys. All right, anything can change. You know, lineups could uh, come out. Another player could be in the uh, first base spot for smoke if he's sitting out or something like that, or, you know, he has a sore hamstring. I don't know. So follow me on Twitter, guys. Link is in the description for, for Twitter, all right, guys? All right, but uh, these are the top, play, top plays that I have right now, guys. So, all right.
some honorable mentions, guys, um, will be Olsen. But I already got my um, my first baseman, but I like Matt Olsen. Again, facing Bartolo Colon. He's in a plus matchup too, so guys. So I like the Oakland and the Houston games for stacks. All right. Let's just put that out there. All right, guys. So remember, MLB has a lot of variance, guys. All right. Please don't blow all your bankroll in one night, guys. Bankroll management is going to be key to MLB, guys. All right. The other night, the New York Yankees, they had uh, a great matchup for both Judge and Stanton. And everybody but them hit a home run. Okay, guys, that can happen. <laughs> okay, guys, so bankroll management is going to be key, guys. All right, one more guy I want to mention before I get out here, guys. This is Joey Gallo, man, at 3.8K, man. All right? Lock him in, guys. All right, he's been hot lately as well, too. And, again, he's batting well versus the pitcher hand this, that he's facing, so. Put Gallo in your in your uh, in your player pool, guys. So, all right. Good luck on tomorrow's MLB slate, guys. Remember, slow and steady wins the race, man.